today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Keynote to do photo editing. Let's get started. Okay guys, so now we're in Keynote. And now the first thing you can do is probably delete those. Okay, so to show you that Keynote can be used for photo editing, I have a new slide. And I'm just going to go up here, choose a shape, choose a square. I'm going to just make that fit this. We'll just go ahead and widen that. And now we're going to choose on just color fill because I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be shaded. So I just want it to be kind of a plain color. You can choose from the color wheel and all that. Um, so there, you got a background. Okay. So now you can just put in text like tra la la I don't even know. Just randomness. Okay. You still have full font selection, which is nice. And let's just make it like 300. There we go. 300 font. Tra yeah, I know guys. Can't even fit in this part, can I? Okay, so. We can do that, we can just like, I don't know. We go here and find a photo pictures and I just like well take this picture there, which command Z. Okay, so we'll just take this photo there, drop there, take that. And then we can just kinda of throw that there. I'm not making this the prettiest. But you can, of course, spend way more time than I did on this. So you can, like, put images on, but, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make a random logo. I'm take a circle. Go ahead and make that just color fill. Make that larger. Nice and big. Um, I don't know if that's proportional or not. Hope that's proportionate. Okay, yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna change that color to blue. Maybe? No? No? No. Okay, find color. Nope. I'm failing. Okay, I'll just choose that one. Um, text. Okay. Chill the nerd. Of course, you can just put whatever text you want there. And my font, this is just my preference font. You can choose anything you want. There we go. Chili nerd. Chili nerd. That looks very, very basic and plain, but it looks good. Um, gonna do drop shadow. Ch -ch 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 offset. It's got a very subtle shadow now. Um, of course you can do blur if you want to make that very, very subtle. I, I'm just going to keep that full blur. I'm just going to make that nice and shadowed. Um, yeah. Okay, so that looks good to me. Nice and shadowed all the way around. So, yeah. And then, what we can do is we can just go ahead and hit play. Of course, I'm only recording part of the screen. So you'll be missing a little bit of the top, but then we can just go hit Command Shift three, and it will take a picture of the whole screen. Or if you do Command Shift four, you get our little cursor here, which you can choose the size of which we want it to. I'm just gonna press Escape because I already have the other photo. Actually, Command Shift three. Yep, four. I failed that. Just gonna make a square image of that. And I'll make that the new YouTube icon. And then you can just press escape. And I'm gonna hit command S because I'm gonna save that. And there you go, guys. That is how you do photo editing on Keynote. I'll just close that and I'll actually show you guys the final result. And it does not look bad. It looks pretty good. It 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 looks good. So um that is how you can use Keynote to edit photos and make logos. Thanks guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe and just like this video. Thanks for watching.